Hello and welcome to CNCF Minutes. In this video, we'll go through Helm. So Helm is a CNCF graduated project. So in very simple terms, Helm is the package manager for Kubernetes. Now let's first understand why Helm. So the app deployment uh, requires a lot of objects to be deployed like deployment, secrets, config maps, services, and other Kubernetes objects. Now to make it easy and to uh, package it inside a single chart, which is a Helm terminology, Helm, is, Helm was introduced. So second challenge is app distribution. So you cannot uh, distribute the app in a very easy manner. With Helm, you can do that. App versioning, uh, different versions of your application, if you want to deploy, you have to again deploy the YAML files, copy paste and all those stuff. App reusability, if you want to reuse the similar app with different structures, uh, it's not very easy to use without Helm. So with Helm, you can find, share and use software built for Kubernetes. It helps you manage the complex applications. So all the complex applications which require a lot of dependencies, a lot of uh, YAML files writing. So all these things can be managed by Helm. Uh, simple sharing. So sharing the application in the form of charts is very simple. Uh, easily, easy updates. So you can easily update the applications. Uh, rollbacks are also very easy using the Helm rollback command. And you can install the applications on any Kubernetes cluster. With Helm, the applications are packaged as charts and it has a templates folder and in templates folder you have the yaml files that gets deployed to the cluster it has a concept of values.yaml file which uh, with which you can customize and inject the values that you require for your particular need like the name application version the image and all these things can be templatized so the helm architecture is this you have a helm repo that you add onto the cluster after installing helm now the Helm will fetch the Helm charts from the Helm repo and converts the Helm charts into the valid YAML files, which are the Kates YAML, and then it supplies them to the Kates API server. And then it gets deployed and runs the application. Helm works very good with other CI tools, which is a very powerful combination. So Helm CI deploys to the cluster. Say that this particular lifecycle, Git, from Git, you can have a CI tool that can build the image. And from image, you can build your Helm charts and then it can be deployed to the cluster. So you can integrate your Helm chart inside the CI pipeline as well. Now, these are the key components in Helm. So first is the Helm CLI, which you install uh, locally on your Mac or Linux. Then is the Helm chart. So Helm chart is a TGZ file uh, deployed on the Kubernetes, uh, local or remote repositories. Then is a chart repo. So either it can be Helm Hub or it can be a community maintained, a project maintained repositories. Then you have the chart.yaml file. Now this is the metadata about the chart. Now you have the templates. Now these are the actual YAML files that get deployed onto the cluster. Now you have the values.yaml, which is the config for the Helm release. So these are the values that can be provided by the user, by the CLI or by the YAML files. Then is the release the instance of the chart creation, and it will be helping in your upgrade, rollback, uninstallation, and the unique names. So you will be finding the releases for your Helm applications that you can upgrade, rollback, and uninstall. So this is a very short summary of what Helm is. And let's see how you can install Helm charts. So Helm repo, I already have Helm installed onto my Mac machine. So this is Helm repo list. I have all these repositories here. And uh, say I want to install Litmus Chaos. So first I'll do kubectl create namespace Litmus. And then I'll do a Helm install Chaos Litmus in the Litmus namespace. So after that, it installs all the required components to run that particular application. So that's how you can install different uh, applications onto your Kubernetes cluster. You can create your application charts as well and distribute them. Uh, and you can use certain tools like catch uh, to create the charts from your application deployments as well. So like, share, and uh, subscribe to the channel. And thank you for watching.